Hello, welcome to this video. We're going to look at video merge. I'm going to try a few different things. Uh, There's going to be a first video on video merge. There'll be a lot more though. So the first video merge thing we'll try is let's try this mouse here. So this I know is an image. Now in the graphics section, um, it says graphics, but if you've used um, a lot of other stuff before, you'll know that graphics in in flash for instance it meant just graphics like like still images this is a combination all these things are a combination of graphics and movie clips so you don't really know what you're getting uh, i just happen to know that this mouse is a um you know uh, that's probably a little bit big but i just want to i want to just like uh i wonder if you yeah so it's automatically, so the axes are locked, right? So let's just put the, the mouse in here and then we're going to show you uh, how we play with the video merge effect. Okay. So if we take a look at what we've got here, we've got this clip here, right? So if we play the clip, as you might imagine, the mouse just stays on top. To make things... So, if we want a video merge, how do we do it? Well, pretty simple, really. We can go to clip and we can go to apply video merge and you can see we've got the whole mouse in there now and you can see like certain bits of the mouse are still there so if we look at the uh the edit uh which is so if we look at the edit we can see that video merge has now appeared here and there's a couple of presets so if we do normal if we do soft you can see that the actual shell of the mouse is actually still there detailed uh, you can see the in, in difference between soft and detailed. Soft, if you look at the background there, you'll see the bit that's going through the mouse's ear there. You can see just a little bit more detail on that glowstone. Uh, and also the uh, there's a little section of the mouse, which is... Uh, tolerance, I haven't really worked out what that does yet. Um, one thing you can do is if you se select color, try the eyedropper, what it'll do is it'll let you click anywhere. So if we say we click on the... Uh, body of the mouse. See, everything that isn't that will be removed. Let's try the eyedropper again. If we click on this uh, grass, yeah. What about the ear? Interesting. So I think it makes it like, what about the, this part of the eye? Mm. What about this section? No. For what it's worth, it looks to me like the video merge is like a more basic. What about this white area here? It's interesting that the uh, the uh, the toasts here they seem to change. All right. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not that happy with the uh, the custom ones. So what I've actually uh, with the basic ones. So what I'm going to do is I've got I've got a. I wanted to try this with something like this. This is just a box I made. It's not the most interesting thing. But I wonder like, why if we put a video merge on this. Uh, video merge. See, that's more like what you would expect, right? I mean, this, this is probably how you would do it. Uh, and we've also got another one as well, like called Box 50. Let's have a look at that one. Put the video merge. So it's almost like, what is the? I'm not sure exactly what the point of using the actual default graphics are. You may as well just do custom ones every time. Uh, that's what I'm getting from it, right? Uh, because of course, what you can do then with this clip is, I think, you, can you do it? I think you should be able to just use the regular thing here, right? Uh, it's not in that one. In this, in this guy. Let's just uh, reduce the size of the second one to that. All right. So this is the tweening phase, right? Right, right, right. So I, I should know this stuff by now. I kind of do. So basically, we don't want hardly any any length on this. So that can go there. And then, okay, we have to select the second one. Uh, 
So this should be all tween, right? All right, let's just try it like that for now. To make things like a, uh, because we're just going to be checking out structure block, we're actually going to go to a different dimension. Mm. But can we then put the video merge on it? Let's have a look. I think I should be able to, right? Um, but then you can't. Yeah. To make things like a, uh, because we're just going to be checking out structure block, we're actually. Okay, where is it? Right, so we've got this box here, right? The whole point is it's not supposed to be this size, right? Is there no way I can specify? Th this is got this is a definite size, though, right? Now, you know what it is? It's the registration point. And it really moves around weirdly. I think once I get it, though, it'll be fine. Can I? Sp I think there is a way to specify the size of this box, though, right? It'll be in the motion, right? The position. Yeah, like a scale of this. Can we not? It does have anchor point. What I'm thinking, right? Say we only have like this section around. Isn't there a way that we could like bring it in? We could bring it in here. This bit in the middle would be viewable. Right, so we start here. Yeah, we'll start here. Right, do you not put in keyframes here? They do have keyframes in this version, right? All right, so we're going to make this super long, right? Okay, so that's how it looks at the moment. So we want it. We want to. We want to put in keyframes. Wouldn't it be a case of like, can we just do like what we'd normally do, like something like this? Move it over. This is how I used to do things. Move it over. Or did I? Damn it, I did it wrong. So you. You can be like here. What's weird is that you can adjust it when it's. If I move it over here, will that affect the keyframe? Okay. Move it over a bit more. Do I... Wait. One, how many have we got? We've got one, two, three. Four. And then five. Right? Not the most attractive. Right, so then we put video mode in each of these clips. Let's see if it works. It should do, right? Um, I can look at that. We'll see. Right, let's play it from here. Because we're just going to be checking out structure, but we're actually going to go to a different dimension as well.
That's fine. I'm gonna go to. Is this guy actually working? Yes, he is. I have to. I have to do something about that. But anyway, uh, so we've got this glowstone portal. We're gonna light it up with a milk bucket, and we're gonna go to the Moodlands. So yeah, I haven't actually been to a dimension mod. Wow, it looks fine. So yeah, this is the first dimension mod I've actually been to in one fourteen point four. I don't believe it's Mind Creator. I know a lot of. What's happened there? That's, that felt like it was supposed to happen. It's done. All right, and it carries on. No, it doesn't. It doesn't reduce it. So you would set it up like that, right? I'm ignoring the fact that you can already see the screen. By the way, you just have to imagine you can't see the screen. I could easily just put a, a load of a big black mat lay on top. I don't really care about that at the moment. It should be a formality, but so how do you get the keyframe then? How do you do the tween? Can I then do the pan and zoom? Is that is that is that like the way it's done now? This picture is so useless because this is not what it looks like. So what is this preview about? I mean, I can't see anything. All I want is the pan, right? Isn't there a way I can just put the keyframe in? And then it activates the tween. How do you get that tween? Maybe it's just not done like this anymore. I think it is though, right? You know what? I really think it is. If I get to like this point, because we know where we want it, we want it about there, right? So there's about four things at the bar, right? So can I not, if I scale it up, I can't just do it like that. That won't create an animation, that will it? Or will it? Let's have a look. No. I just want to check that it's not doing something like that. There. Scale up. See, I'm not sure. It seems like the only way you can do a tween is in the pan and zoom tool. But again, this makes no sense to me, this graphic. One second, nine second, one second, right? That's what it says. But this length of time starts at four seconds, ends at 13 seconds. Four. So that's a nine second clip, right? It's nine seconds. When we go in the pan zoom tool, it appears to be 10 seconds. So I don't know where it's getting that extra time from. What I do know is that can we move? You can't. The thing is, you can't, also can't move the uh, the clip. Yeah, I'm trying to think like another way to do it. Hold one second. For what? Ah. How about zero seconds? Because it's a complete waste of time. Okay. Um. 
Let's do done on that. Because we're just going to be checking out structure block. We're actually going to go to a different dimension as well. We're going to go to... Is this guy actually working? I do like this effect there. Yes, he is. I have, to, I have to do something about that. But anyway, uh, so we've got this glowstone. Honestly, that effect is, is pretty cool in itself. I'm very happy I learned about that, the thing about the pan zoom thing. 